maybe you've already seen it in today's paper on page A12, but we have Ken Hobie here from Flated. He is going to let us know about the exciting news, and we're going to find out what kind of result they got on Shark Tank. You guys, your new company is on Shark Tank this evening. Uh, it will. It'll be on tonight. Uh, one thing to share, first of all, I have to say to you, thank you so much. Trisha has been such a great uh, encouraging soul throughout all of this. <laughs> Not only with this article, but like you've known about working on this for years. So thank you so much and thanks for having me on. It was a great article and I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we recorded this in September. There's certain things we're allowed to say and yeah. you know, some we can't. Some more we'll be able to share tomorrow after it airs. Um, but uh, we were approached by some producers at Shark Tank. They had read about us in an article, I think it was in Men's Journal, uh, one of the publications, and they reached out to us. We got an email, you know, saying, hey, we think this is cool, you know, are you interested in uh, talking to us? And, you know, spam emails, you know, we're like, is this really is this real? Is yeah. this legit? So we went online, started checking out, okay, this is real, and wrote them back and had a great dialogue with them. They're actually friends of ours now to this yeah. day, great folks. and. That definitely helped us, you know, yeah. to, we, we knew down the road that this was a product that would probably be great for Shark Tank. We have a lot of people online that would send us messages to go on the show. Um, so this just kind of helped us a little bit to, you know, get our foot in the door and do it. But it's an insanely long process. Yeah. A lot of vetting goes on. Not only do they believe in your product, but also the people behind it. And there's just a lot of variables to it. So got the call officially to come out and film in September and went out there and did that. But even when you film the show, there's no guarantees that you're going to be on it. And you can't tell anybody, right? <laughs> so you, you do these like reconnaissance flights to California yes. and you go and you shoot the program. Look how terrified I looked there. I know, by I the know. Way. I don't think I've ever seen you look that terrified <laughs> yeah, ever. <laughs> I was nervous. Um, but, it, you know, we went out there, we filmed it. Um, I do know the outcome, not allowed to share that. I'm excited for people to see it. Yeah. I think it's going to make for great television simply because I saw what happened and how it went down and um, some of the conversations. And it was incredible. It was a great experience. The Sharks were um, tenacious for sure, but also yeah. really friendly. And it's kind of a whirlwind. You know, it happens very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, you, you go out there, you do your presentation. It's not like it takes hours. I mean, you're there for a few minutes yeah. and um, you do your pitch. They've never heard of you oftentimes and you go through it and you see what you think and you get beat up a little bit by Mr. Wonderful, <laughs> who uh, maybe one hint I'll drop. I don't know. You know, you never know in television yeah. because there's always the editing to it, right? Like how will they edit it? And I'm sure they'll tell the story exactly how it went down, but Mr. Wonderful might have a new nickname after tonight. I don't know. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> We're getting some hints. Yeah, but on that, show. and honestly, that one's not that significant. But there's just moments that I know that happened yeah. that um, would probably make for some really good TV. But for us, it was really great exposure uh, and just a, a, a great thing to you know go out there and do this. Well, and let's talk about the product. So the company's name is Flated, mm -hmm. and it uh, you know um, necessity is the mother of invention, and this is what uh, we can show you on our show. Yeah. And I'll, it's small and, and why you got the, and why you have the photos up I'll show you this what I have in front of me which you'll see in a moment is a small version of what you're seeing there and what we do is we designed and constructed out of the same material that inflatable paddle boards are made yep. out of other things and why do people like inflatable paddle boards it's because they don't necessarily have the room to store them when they're not in use yeah. they roll up so we took that same technology and implemented it into automotive accessories and so many people especially here in the mountains are familiar with car camping or van camping but you usually go to Home Depot and you build everything out of wood and it's heavy and then you have to figure out where to put it. There's my beautiful wife, Brandy, on the right hand side. That's the air carrier, which I have okay. a small version. But then the van, um, if you go back actually, Leah, to the photo before, that's the after shot of the van, okay. but there's the other one. If you look on the right, I, you, it takes any van, you just remove your seats put the air deck in it has legs it's super rigid although it's inflatable you put your air mattress and everything on top of it and then you can put all your stuff yeah, underneath underneath because then you still have some storage yeah exactly and then if you go to that next photograph um it shows what it looks like truly decked out um, with all my gear underneath you camp and then come monday and it's time to take the kids to school you just take that out you deflate it you roll it up and put it on a shelf, put the car seats back in. Um, the other thing too with the air carrier, this is really, although we're really well known for the air topper, uh, which is our truck camper shell, 
to me, especially locally, the air carrier is really the answer because so many people here in the mountains have rocket boxes, I call them, yeah. you know, tule boxes, and they drive around with them all year long simply because they're difficult to take off your car. Where do you put them when you take yeah. them off? The air carrier, you inflate, it installs on vehicles with or without racks, so you don't have to have expensive racks. And when you're done, you just simply deflate it and take it off. Or if you have, you know, say a parking garage that yeah. won't allow you to fit in. And this is at my house in Gypsum. And this was uh, our first version of the topper. This, this photo had never been seen. It was just kind of shared um, around our inner circle. But I wanted to show people how rigid it is. There's nothing inside that topper wow. that's supporting it from underneath. And yep. I'm a big boy these days, Trisha Swenson. I'm, I'm pushing 250 pounds uh, uh, in that photo. So, you know, it really goes to show. And then once you're done with it, it simply deflates and rolls up. And I actually, um, I'll show you it on this, but then uh, Leah has a video oh, yeah. that we can share also. But um, on the air carrier itself, if you wanted to show this, Leah, I could. Um, it opens up from the side. I won't unzip okay. it, but there's a, a zipper right here. Yeah. And then you'll hear the air release. There's a valve that's right here okay. that you inflate it. And you have a pump, and you're not blowing it up yourself. Yep, and we have an electric, but you push that, right? Okay. And, and this is our, and now it's open. And then, if you can imagine doing this with a truck top or anything. Okay. There and you go. roll it down now. You just roll it up. Yeah. That air out of there. I actually rolled it up backwards. <laughs> Dumb me. And then that's the idea of it. It just yeah. rolls up. And you up. put it on a shelf. Yeah, you put it on the shelf, you put it in the closet. Wow. And I like how you say, like, by Monday, you're, you're back to your regular vehicle. Yeah, you're back to your normal yeah. vehicle. And with us, one of the things we incorporated, um, and there's uh, Adrienne Lev Connect. She's one of our professional kayakers. She uses hers, you know, loads everything up. You can strap things to the roof of it. Yep. So it has a built-in rack. Um, there's my awesome son hunter's incredible girlfriend Addie. she decided to help model for us down in gypsum um and it just goes to show that's on his tacoma and then the photo in the bottom left that is uh recently out in california i actually rigged it up if you go to our uh Instagram page and did a quick trip out to California and then when I came home uh, I had to move furniture so <laughs> topper just comes off you the topper only weighs 50 pounds and yes you do drive down the road with it on yep. and then you're done and you take it okay. off and you deflate it and the, the other thing I want to show is so many people um, when they get rocket boxes they have to have roof racks yeah with ours this is now the bottom of the air carrier what you do is if you do have racks there's a strap system in yep. here, right? And imagine this is upside down. Okay. You just take this, wrap it around your rack bars, and then pull it tight, yep. right? And that cinches it down. If you don't have racks, um, a lot of people are familiar with uh, surfboard shape yep. or surfboard yep. racks that are soft. You'd simply put this on the roof of your car, run straps through these D-rings, open oh. your car doors, yeah, yeah, yeah. put the straps through, pull it tight, You've now got an air carrier, you go do your big adventure, you come back, you just loosen it, take it off, deflate it, put it in the back. Yeah, That's you know, and a lot of people are garage challenged in, in the valley, <laughs> so, you know, to have yes. that topper, but then you gotta take it off, and it's so heavy, you know, like if you have like the regular ones, yours is very nice and lightweight, compact, could go in yeah. the, the closet and everything, so. Totally, and if you were traveling, you know, um, I'm planning on going to Alaska this summer, and I know everyone's like, well, it's not bear proof. Sure, you know, it's not bear proof, it's more of an item of convenience, uh, but I want to go up there and do a truck trip. Well, rather than driving a truck all the way to Alaska, the air topper fits in a you know a bag this big. Yeah. You just check it with your check bags, yeah. send it up there, fly there, yeah, strap it down. And, okay. and if we could, before we went, the one thing I wanted to show Leah is uh, this is a video I believe I don't know again I've not seen the program, but this is a video that I actually made for Shark Tank that we could have to show the sharks uh, to help them understand. But this kind of gives a clear picture on how the topper works. Comes in a bag, you open it up, right? Just like a paddle board. Yeah. And you can see the clock on the right hand side yeah, the time. how many minutes it's taking you. Blow it okay. up, right? Top it off with the hand pump. Okay. And like I said, a lot of guys with truck toppers know that it takes like five people to put it on your <laughs> no. truck. You can see I do it on my own. You cam strap it down in each corner. The windows Velcro on and then they have sealers that go over the top. And there's the inflation and in putting it on. And of course, you know, okay. in a not so humble way, I kind of point at the clock, boom, oh. 11 <laughs> minutes. And then real quick, I know we got to wrap it up. This is how it comes off. You just take it off. You can literally throw it on the ground, deflate it, roll it up, put it in. There's your truck, there you go. ready to go do truck things once again. Yeah, all right, <laughs> awesome. Well, we're so excited about this, and so it's really cool to see this company make it onto Shark Tank. You know, just 
get in the exposure, even if you don't get any money from them. Yeah. Just the exposure is absolutely priceless. So uh, ABC. ABC is the tonight. Yeah. Um, Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Uh, you know, I don't know what time will go on. Yeah. So I encourage people to tune in and check it out, see if we got a deal or not, and also learn more about our products. And if you want to come watch me, just be shaking and nervous. <laughs> I, I'm literally about to have a panic attack uh, as being on there. Uh, we will be at El Segundo in Eagle tonight. Uh, we'll get we'll show up at six. Uh, the show starts at seven and hang out with me, have a beverage. Yep. We'll watch and you can watch. And one thing I wanted to point out, I have a great teammates, Dan Watts, who's watching from California. He's our designer. Um, Ryan Gay, he is our CEO. He's up in Montana. But especially if we could go back one more time to that shot, Lee, of the three of us. Uh, the, the, it was myself, Ryan, and Monique, yep. who's our CFO, who's right there in the middle. She was two weeks away from having her baby girl. Oh, my goodness. And she made the <laughs> – she came – and uh, I'll drop another hit. Man, was she awesome. It's good to have a great well, CFO. Well, because they ask a lot about numbers on that show. And she's not only a mom, she is a supercomputer. Oh, my and, gosh. And uh, she was amazing. So okay. I, I'm so happy and uh, honored and privileged to work with these guys as my co-founders. And a uh, great experience. I look forward to everybody tuning in. And thank awesome. you.